Today in Aquaphors Presents Part 2, we're going to set up the tank in the stand. Even though the series is all about featuring Aquaphors products, this episode is actually all about reef octopus. And specifically, it's about the reef octopus Lux T90 tank and stand, which if I'm being really honest, two months ago, I didn't even know that it existed. When I think of Reef Octopus, I think about their pumps, their wave makers, but of course I think about their protein skimmers. The boxes for the tank have been sitting in my living room for three weeks now, maybe four weeks. I've resisted taking a peek inside even though I really want to see what this tank and stand looks like. I'm trying something new on YouTube where I'm breaking my videos up into chapters. So if there's a specific part of this video you want to see or you want to come back to, just scroll down, click on show more and click on a timestamp and it will take you right to that chapter. And as always, it really helps our channel out if you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications and like this video. Okay, that being said, my first thing I need to do is build the stand but I kind of want to take a peek and look at the sump in the tank first. So let's do a little sneak peek real quick. This one looks open because my kitties got into it. Relic sump comes with the, the plumbing. And then I see in here a reef octopus return pump, filter socks, all sorts of stuff. See in there? See? All right, sneak peek into here. This is the reef octopus luxury system, the Lux T90. Ooh, never mind. You can actually see a lot. Here's what we got here. Looks like it comes with a mat. Accessory pack, oh, okay. I'm saving the best for last. Okay, that was just enough to make me excited and to wet the palette. Onto the stand. First off, like the, the, the first thing I really noticed about this one is the number of pieces. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. The second thing I noticed is the sheen. I don't know if you can see it, but this is almost like, it almost feels like a piece of heavy duty plastic. Oh, do you, do you see that reflection right there? You can kind of see the reflection. It doesn't feel like MDF. This is the, the top piece, but look at the thickness of this. I mean, that's like three fingers thick. This seems to be an insanely high quality stand. The only thing I'm a little confused about is I open up the boxes and I don't see, where's the hardware? Do you think it's in here maybe? I'm hoping that this stand might only take me like maybe like an hour to put together. I know that's probably really wishful thinking, but you never know. Have okay, this is the return pump. Oh, the skimmer pump. Skimmer, skimmer. So maybe it's in the sump. Huh? Huh? What do you think? <laughs> but no directions. Where are the directions? Like filter socks. The baffle. Plumbing float valve. Oh, oh, wait, 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 underneath here. And what do we have here? Why would it be underneath the sump though? <laughs> I'm guessing it'll only take me an hour. Also, you can find a link to this aquarium and this stand in the description below. I'm hoping this will be pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am estimating this will take me one hour. Ready, steady, go. so much easier and so much more satisfying to have all of your hardware organized first. Step one, let's see, put a sidewall on. Okay. Step two, looks like we're attaching the door hinges, so. I think we're attaching these. Step three piece. We got this piece on. We have this piece on. Yeah, okay, so we're attaching we attaching those to the side? No, those are the door hinges. Oh. 
I'm about halfway done. It goes together like some Ikea furniture, just like with the kind of nuts and bolts they use. But that's where the similarities end because when you are screwing these things in, they latch on so much stronger. And when you're doing like an Ikea and you're screwing it into here, it feels like you're just gonna over tighten it and pull it out. But this is super solid. I'm an hour and four minutes in, and I'm not done like I thought I would be, but honestly, I would say 30 minutes of that, half of that time has been because of filming. Step four looks like we're gonna put the top on next, which I believe is that piece. Step five, install like just like some mounting hardware. Step six is attach the door. So really it's just steps five and six and then step seven says attach the sticker, but the sticker has already been attached. I mean, I didn't forget. I knew I had to do it. I haven't secured the top yet, but I forgot when I was moving it, and so I lifted it up, and it popped off. This is done, and wait, how long did it take me? And the time was one hour and 41 minutes, and probably 40 minutes of filming. So, you know something, it probably only did take an hour, which really isn't that bad. Let's take the 40 gallon breeder. This is this like the PetSmart stand. So like this is example number one. What do we got here? Height is 30 and a half inches. That's example one. Example number two is the Fluval M60. Let's just say 36 inches, so a little bit taller. Okay, here's example number three. This is the APS stand. Also 36 inches, so three feet on this one, three feet on the Fluval, but check this out. We have 40 inches, so it's four inches higher. There's where the 36 mark would be. This thing sits so much taller than everything else, which means the tank is gonna be much more in my line of sight. Do you know the easiest way for me to tell that this stand is way taller than any other stand I've ever owned? Because I can actually sit inside of it completely upright. That's how big it is. I wasn't filming it, it probably would have taken me tops an hour and a half. This is the sturdiest wood stand I've ever set up. It is definitely the heaviest, the pieces are the thickest. So far, this stand gets an A plus rating. It's probably the best stand I've ever set up. Complaints, if I had any complaints about this stand, I was missing one little screw back here, but I could have easily just done something to it and lost it myself, but it, I didn't need it. The other issue I had was one screw attaching the door it wouldn't go in. It was like it was stripped or something. I didn't need it because there were three other ones. Are there any other complaints that I have? I don't think I have any other complaints about it. I'm, I'm legitimately trying to think of the complaints I have about it right now. But no, those are my only two complaints. So good job, Reef Octopus. Let's move on to the sump. Everything you see inside is what comes in that sump package. It's an acrylic sump. So it's pretty lightweight. It's more of a Berlin style. If you look, you're not gonna see baffles. There's one baffle, I believe, and I think it's this package here. So that you have basically one large main compartment where you put your huge oversized protein skimmer, and then you have your return compartment, which will control the water height, and it's also for your gravity controlled auto top off, which is included. Two flexible tubing. We're gonna use everything stock. We're not gonna do anything fancy. We're gonna use everything stock. Return pump, circulation pump, the AQ3000, 925, the Octo filter sock. Okay, so this is the filter sock. It attaches onto the side like that. So, I mean, it's something like that, a baffle. So I believe what you do with this is you're going to take it, I mean like this, and then you're gonna have a baffle compartment. So you install the baffle, then you put your return pump over here. Ah, unions are really nice if you've never done a tank before. Having these unions makes removing things really easily. So it has unions. It just has a clear front here, but then all the sides and the back are gray. So let me undo the plastic and then put it in there to see what it looks like and see how it fits. Looks pretty good, actually. 
actually. Overall, it's just a really good fit. You know, just a little bit of gap on each side. You can even see kind of cool down here. The bottoms are rounded even, so it gives us this really clean look to it. time I made this video, the Reef Octopus Lux T90. It's retailing for $1,800 plus $300 for freight shipping. So it's around $2,100. It's a competitive price. I'm not going to lie. Is it expensive? Yeah, it's, it's, it's an expensive tank, but you're getting what you pay for. You're getting high quality products. You're getting that amazing stand. You're getting an acrylic sump. You're getting the return pump. You're getting the high-end Reef Octopus protein skimmer. You're getting all of your tubing. I mean, just compare this to, you know, to any of the other options out there from from Red Sea or from Waterbox, JBJ, Innovative Marine. This is an extremely competitive price, if not even more affordable affordable than some of those other options. I believe it's 48 gallons. It's low iron glass. Hope my cats don't eat all this. I haven't looked at it, so I'm glad to see there's no gigantic cracks or anything like that. It's nice that it comes with a mat. I'm gonna have to cut a hole though. Right there, shouldn't take long. Tank is in. A couple issues we had setting it up, not big issues. The mat was not quite cut right. So instead of running like straight back like this, it ran at a little bit of an angle. The issue's been solved. We just had to cut it a little bit. It's a really clean system. Super clean light, beveled glass edges. The back is where it gets really, really interesting. This section here is where you put in the auto top off water. My only concern about this is that it's not very large. Here's the overflow, okay? The water, like the water runs here, it runs all the way down and into here. So that means this whole back area here is the auto top off reservoir, but it's really, really thin. See how, see how thin that is right here? I just, I'm not sure how much it's gonna hold. Am I gonna have to refill the auto top off every single day so that you can see how much is left so you know when it's getting low? I am loving the fact that this weir runs the whole length. So you're gonna get an amazing surface skim unlike any other tank I've ever had. This is where the water drains down and it goes down to this. This is something I've never seen before in any tank ever. <laughs> it's, it's called the slim flow. This is the overflow. No joke. This right here is where the water comes down and it goes into here. This is where it drains. Here, let me show you. See this? It has a primary, an emergency, and then the return line are all down here. And not only that, but you also have the auto top off hole over here as well because it's a gravity fed auto top off. But because they put the overflow here, what that means, the back section here is crazy slim. Normally, you'd either have to have an internal weir that, right, that sticks out and it takes up space in your tank or you'd have to have some sort of low profile overflow here. So if you look over here at this tank, sorry, it's gonna be really blue. This is an overflow. So yes, you have a really slim overflow inside, but then you have to put this bulky overflow on the outside. This won't have any of that. You can put this up against the wall and there's nothing back there. That's the benefit of having the overflow in here. This is where the water return line is. So the water is just gonna come out of here. So completely flat. Really cool idea, super clean build. Can you guys see the one glaring thing I forgot to do? Can you see it? All right, let's just do a little time lapse of me fixing that one glaring problem.
really smoothly. This is definitely one of the best, if not the best builds I've put together in terms of quality wise. Links to it are gonna be down below. A huge thank you to Coral View, to Aqua Forest, and to Reef Octopus for sponsoring this build. I know we didn't talk about much Aqua Forest, even though the series is called Aqua Forest Presents, but we'll do more Aqua Forest next week, I promise. If you like this video, if you could please subscribe, that way you're not gonna miss out on any parts of this 10-part Aqua Forest Presents series. Coming up next episode, episode three is one we're calling The Setup. We're gonna set up all the rest of the gear. We'll see you then. Happy reefing, everybody. Thank you.